Hello everyone, my name is Gert Jan Jöne and our research team at the University of Otago um, has been developing environmental DNA or eDNA as a new monitoring method in the marine environment. Okay. Um, today I'll be giving a very brief overview of some of the results that we've obtained in the last two years and also quickly discuss um, some or, or how we would like to see this field moving forward. Quick recap, environmental DNA monitoring. Um, we are not trying to look or observe the species anymore uh, visually, but try to detect them by uh, picking up the DNA signal left behind by organisms into the environment. Uh, for example, water sampling. However, this indirect method of observation has led to major concerns. For example, that we would have inaccurate biodiversity data. Uh, and this would uh, be possible because DNA could be transported through the environment very far away from its source. And this is a major concern, especially in the marine environment, since it is so dynamic with currents and tidal influences. So to test this, uh, we sampled four different habitats on a very small spatial scale, each with their own community. Uh, the idea behind this was that if we would obtain one single signal between all of our samples, it would mean that DNA would be transported from one site to the next, since not all organisms are living at each site. However, if we could distinguish our uh, signals based per habitat and, could, um, and that they give information on the community that is actually residing there, it would mean that we will have accurate biodiversity data. And when we look at our results, here in this NMDS plot, we can actually see that we can um, change or that we can separate our eDNA signals based on the habitat that we sampled and that it actually gives you the information of the community that is residing there. Furthermore, when we um, the, performed another experiment where we looked at or tried to compare the organisms that were we found or detected by a traditional survey, in this case a photographic quadrat survey, and our environmental DNA methods, we can see that there is only a small overlap in the species detection. And this uh, is showing us limitations in both survey methods. However, for our eDNA survey, these limitations might be solved in the future since most of them are based on incomplete genetic reference databases. So when we look here at the red circle, all taxa that have this kind of sign in front of it we don't have any genetic information at the moment, so by building uh, forward and by improving our um, databases, which we are doing at the moment for macroalgae in Fjordland, we might improve the power of environmental DNA. Um, so from the results that we have obtained in the last two years, it's our opinion that eDNA can become a very powerful tool to aid conservation management strategies, and we would like um, to see ecologists that are already performing those traditional surveys to adopt this method and use this um, together with the traditional surveys that they're already performing so that they get a more broader overview and a um, more complete picture of what's out there in the system that they're studying. Since not everyone has a genetics background, we have developed easy to follow guidelines for field and lab work, and we have also developed semi-automated computational pipelines for data analysis, which will be the most difficult part to adopt. However, we still think that minimal training is necessary since um, there are some tricky parts in this uh, work since we're working with very low amounts of DNA. And we've therefore thought of several ways on providing the necessary information. The first one is that we uh, will be giving some workshops in the beginning of next year where we will go out into the field and show you how the sampling should be performed. We'll also show you how the laboratory would ideally be set up and how to perform all the lab work. And we'll also give you an idea on how the computational analysis is performed. For managers, uh, we will also have leading experts in the field come to Dunedin and give their view on how this field is moving forward and what is feasible with eDNA monitoring. Um, at the moment, we're also writing a book on the computational analysis that will guide you step by step um, through, um, through the, this analysis. 
shows you what software is out there and what each step means. Uh, lastly, we also are very happy to help anyone trying to use environmental DNA as a monitoring method. Uh, please ask me or Michel Knapp um, after the break. Thank you very much.